Hey, what's up guys? Double Dog Gamer here. Welcome back to another Marine Corps Mondays. And before I start this off, I want to say Upchuck has a YouTube channel. Yes, my good friend and partner in crime, Upchuck, is now joining the world of YouTube. He has heard your cries for videos from him. And uh, I'm going to put the link in the description to his channel. Go ahead and subscribe to him. They're going to have pretty much his view of any sort of video we record together and then he's going to be doing a lot of other stuff. He has a video up right now on how to auto-rotate helicopters because a lot of people were asking him how he how he can land every time we get shot down and we can land a helicopter so fucking well. Well, he shows you how to do it in the video. He's, he's pretty cool. I'm working with him. I'm trying to get the channel up and uh, it's going to be pretty cool to have him, you know, uploading stuff that we do and, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But anyways, we're back with War Thunder and um, running all my top tier fucking German stuff. I think I'm ranked 15 right now in the Germans. And I'm starting to hate it, because just like in this round, there's jets everywhere, and all I have is fucking prop fighters. And I actually do pretty good, I only get killed two ways, which are both really stupid and idiotic on my part. But, um, you live and learn, right? <laughs> Anyways, this week, we're gonna talk a little bit about the future of the Marine Corps, and whether or not it will survive budget cuts and the end of the war. I've been seeing a lot of articles, and I'm gonna put the article down in the, uh, description below about how the Marine Corps doesn't have a budget, doesn't have a mission, um, and there's no use for it. And you know what I gotta say about that? Fuck you! Marine Corps always has a goddamn use. Whenever you need a battle to be won or a country to get fucked up, you send in the goddamn Marines. It's easy, it, it's every time. It works like that. Now I know a lot of people have been like, oh, you know, the Marines are another standing army. We don't need another standing army. Well, they're only a standing army because that's how they were used. They weren't, you, you don't send marines in, and this is one of the dumb kills. The plane blew up and damaged me. The thing is, when the invasion started and ended, that is when the marines job should have ended. You don't send in the marines to be a police force in a country that you're trying to control. That's not what the marine corps is good for. Marine corps is good for it, it, getting into a country and absolutely fucking running into the capital and killing everybody. That fucking gives you problems. That's what we're good for. We're, we are an invasion force. Marines have always been an invasion force. Look at every island hopping campaign. It was a fucking land and seas campaign. It's the same thing with with Iraq. We ran all the way up that fucking, that whole place with the army. And, uh, you know, all the way up to Baghdad and fuck shit up. And then that's where the mission should have ended. You should have sent all the Marines home and let the fucking army handle taking care of everything else after that. But they were used incorrectly. Now... I don't know much about the peacetime Marines. I was never, you know, you know, when I joined, it was still, the Marines have been in war for a while. I mean, we had been in Afghanistan um, since like 2002, I think. I don't know. I don't really remember. I wasn't in Afghanistan anyways. <laughs> but I mean, everybody I knew who was in the Marines was a wartime Marine. There was no peacetime Marines in my unit. Nobody who had, you know, been there before all that or anything like that. So I don't really know what the mission was. But... You know, reading a little bit about and seeing how the Muse worked and everything, from my understanding, it was pretty much you had a Marine infantry unit in every ocean at all times. They would just rotate out on the boats, so that way there was always a force in some sort of ocean to where you could quickly respond, just like how Muse work, and pretty much that on a grander scale, but you could respond to any sort of incident in any country anywhere in the world. You had Marines pretty much on standby, ready to go. And... If you're trying to tell me that's how it worked for peacetime, and then we don't have a mission after Iraq, Afghanistan, that's some bullshit. Please tell me how you're going to transport army guys from fucking Fort Benning halfway across the world in less than fucking eight hours. Please. Please tell me how you can do all that. You know, it, it's, it's pretty ridiculous that it's coming down to this, where our own country can't even fucking pay to have the Marines fucking outfitted. You know... The one, the branch that's been around longer than the United States, and the United States is pretty much saying, fuck you, we're not going to give you the money, we don't know what you're going to do for now on. Honestly, I, I hope another war breaks out, I really do, because I would hate to see the Marines just sitting there with their thumbs up their asses the whole time, trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do with the rest of their fucking day. I mean, it, it's really dumb, and um, definitely hasn't been any love for the Marines lately from Mr. Obama and his fucking ass clowns that run the country, but... You know, there, you know, it. I don't think anything's going to happen because the Marine Corps has a lot of friends in Congress, the Senate, and stuff. I mean, we're still getting funding for the F-35, V-22, and everyone, you know, pretty much hates those programs except for the guys who pretty much support the Marines. 
So I don't think anything's going to happen. What I do know is that there are units already slated for decommission in 2015, and a lot of them are recon battalions. Um, the recon battalions are going to stay, but I think each of them is losing a company each. It's a lot of fucking dudes. I think um, two nine and two two three no one nine and two nine I think are going. Uh, they're going to get disbanded. So you're losing entire battalions now. Um, it's a pretty sad fact that you're losing, you know, pretty much all of recon. But recon, that was that was a dying breed, anyways. When Marsoc came, they took all the recon guys. Um, and recon's been dying for a while. They're they're really not used for their mission as you know anymore, like like they should have been used. So recon is a dying breed. So it's understandable seeing them start shutting down units. But entire infantry battalions is a fucking is a joke. But they do that with every 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 wartime has that. Um, a lot of the units, I can't really think of the name, but I'm sure if you open up, you know, Wikipedia or something, you'll see that a lot of the units that were activated for World War II were disbanded afterwards, after there was no need to have that many infantry battalions, and, um, so on and so on. So, I mean, it's an understandable phase in that, you know, the draw time, I'll draw down from the wartime, but it still is sad, and it, and it does reflect the times a bit to see units like that shutting down. Um, but how far will it go? That's the question. How far will this continue to go before you don't have any infantry and the Marines are pretty much just a security force for the Navy? You know, where you have enough enough Marines to put them on a boat to help support the Navy's mission. And that's what I'm afraid is going to happen. And if that point does happen, you can't resurrect the Marines like that. You've lost so many personnel that upholded the tradition and knew, you know, exactly what the Marine Corps' mission was that if you tried to reactivate it, it would be lost. You wouldn't be able to get the same Marine Corps that you had before. And it's a sad fact that it's coming to this, and even people are even talking to it. It, it makes me sick to even see people talking about disbanding the Marines and shutting it down. I mean, that's fucked up. If anything, shut down the goddamn Coast Guard. The only thing they fucking do is save boaters who are too fucking dumb to find shoreline. Honestly. They probably, you know, I, I, would, I, I would bet that the Coast Guard has probably half the budget the Marine Corps does. The Coast Guard. Because the Marine Corps budget is pretty fucking small. And, um, you know, honestly, if the Marine Corps had a better budget, I think that they'd be talking about shutting the Army down, <laughs> if anything else. But this, this comes with the times. I mean, times are getting bad. Everybody in America, you know, it's like it seems like things are starting to pick up. But when it comes to government spending and everything, that's when the real problems start to occur. And, um... People start getting upset and uh, saying, you know, oh, we don't have the money for this, don't have the money for that. But, you know, the future of warfare is changing. It is. It's starting to become digital. Um, it's starting to be the cyber attacks and everything. And honestly, you probably won't need a standing army. You probably won't need the Marine Corps to do that, do their mission. But the thing is, at some point in time, you never know what the fuck you're going to need. All hell could break loose tomorrow and we could be invaded. And do you really want to be that guy who disbanded one of the, the best military fighting forces this country had when fucking we have troops on our shores? You'd be that asshole to where they'd be like, well, if we had the fucking Marines, we wouldn't be having this problem. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one of those deals. I mean, honestly, I, if, if the Marine Corps does get disbanded, I'm fucking done with this place. I am going to move to Canada or some shit. Get the fuck out of here, because I mean, at that point, it'll be the final straw. I'll be like, this country just went down a shitter. <laughs> but anyways, I'll, I'll leave all the articles, the link for uh, Chuck's channel, in the uh, comments below, or the description, not the comments. I'll be seeing you guys in the comments anyways. And here comes my second stupid death. This is pretty much, we just killed all the aircraft, so I'm just like, oh, I'll just kill landing craft. No big fucking deal. But I do have to say, the new, I'm excited for the new patch on War Thunder, um, Definitely going to start doing War Thunder gameplay now if the new patch comes out just because it's everything's going to be cheaper and, um, you know, repair costs are going to be down finally because I'm tired of paying like 11 grand to fix one of my BF 109s. Just fucking retarded. And um, I'm excited for it. A lot, of, a lot of new jet planes. If you haven't figured it out now, you need to be either playing the Germans or the Russians. Those are the top two classes. Don't fuck with anything else right now. Don't even bother with it. You're just going to get fucked. And here's where I become stupid. Yep. Failzilla. <laughs> Alright guys, leave your comment below. Tell me how much you love the Marine Corps and you do not want them to fucking disappear. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.